Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a wig review. And I'm going to review a wig from Beltress that I have been really looking forward to trying. And also to a color I've been looking forward to trying. So these wigs that I'm going to talk about, the first one that I'm going to share with you in this video, was courtesy of a wig exchange with my good friend, the very lovely, very knowledgeable Marlene, who has a wig channel called Marlene's Wig, it, wig, <laughs> I was going to say Marlene's uh, Fab and Glam, but Marlene's Wig in Chat Studio, where she reviews a ton of wigs. So Marlene recently sent me a wig, actually she sent me three wigs. I, I definitely get the best part of this deal or this wig exchange because Marlene has way more wigs in way more colors and styles than I do so for me you know she got a Raquel Welch once I think only once I can't remember but she sends me a ton of different wigs that I can actually review and this one wig that I want to share with you is Lady Latte by Beltrass and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong Lady Latte, Latte you know me. Anyways, before I plop it on my head, I thought I would just share it with you this way so you can actually see this. This is such a pretty style. I, you know, I'm very much attracted to bobs, but sometimes the long bobs drag my face down and it doesn't really look good on me. But this one is like super, super nice. So let me just tell you a little bit of the dimensions here from there, from the website. The sides are about 10 to 10 and a half, and you can see they're pretty long. I have a long face, but I have a long, you know, face that's nine inches from my hairline to my chin. So this is a little bit longer, and the nape in the back is 3.5. The back overall is nine and a half, and overall is nine and a half to ten and a half inches. So it's a it's an A-line bob. It is best, I think, for square shaped faces so this is not something that is going to be ideal for my face shape but i really wanted to try this i just think this is so so cute it's a classic soft bob it falls just above the shoulders in most cases and um, it's just a hairstyle that you know if you if you have longer hair or you want to have a casual piece that you put on looks super realistic i'm going to turn it inside out so you can see the inside of the cap so you can see the cap okay lace front monofilament top this is heat friendly synthetic fibers it has a bra strap adjustable tab very stretchy cap on me i have a 22 inch circumference on me this sits a little bit big i did have to cinch it down to have a secure fit the color is the very amazing and i really wanted to try this this is british milk tea now depending on your monitor right now i am in my bathroom i do have lights so i have bright lights it's dark out, um, so I don't have a ton of backlight behind me. I do have some low ceiling lights, that's about it. But depending on your monitor, this may come off as a more ashier color or a more, I don't know, maybe richer brown color. So that's the one thing that I learned. So I can, I can talk about the lights, I can talk about what I'm using to film with, but what you play this back on is gonna tell the story. So I could be playing this on my screen and I could be sitting with someone else who has a computer. Maybe it's a PC, I have a Mac or vice versa. Maybe their screen, the resolution is completely different and the color is going to look different. So yes, it is super hard to figure out colors on wigs, but a lot of it does have to do with what you're playing it back on, how realistic the colors are going to be. So anyways, I'm going to put this on my head and before I do that I will tell you this is also the very same color all right but this is Amaretto by Beltras and I'll just do a quick spin I'll review this some other time but I got this in a wig exchange 
So I will send this back to Marlene when I'm finished reviewing. Now I'm going to go ahead and put Lady Latte on my head. I'll be right back. I always feel like I'm Cousin It when I put a wig on my, do you all remember Cousin It? It was like from some sort of like horror show. I don't know, and they had this one character that was a, he had like all this hair. I called him Cousin It. I, he may not have been Cousin It, but that's who I kind of thought. <laughs> this reminds me of when I put a wig on my head and the hair is like all over the place. Because you know, when you first get a wig, right, you want to make sure you have it positioned right. You want to make sure your ear tabs are right. You want to make sure the back is right. And and then you can comb it and you can kind of play with it and you can see how it looks. So I have a nine inch, right? This is 10, 10 and a half inches. As you can see, it's probably spot on. On me, it goes right to above my shoulders. So it's actually a great length. Now, you may have seen this on people that have different complexions, which is why I really want to show it to you on mine. I have a light, pale, but not pale light, but a light to a medium complexion. My complexion is cool tones. So this wig to me pulls a lot of ash. I see ash in real life when I look at this. So ash, as you know, is a color that can often look gray in certain lights. This does not look gray in real life to me. I don't know what it's going to come across on your screen, but I really like this. So I'm going to do a little spin for you. Interesting, huh? I mean, very different look for me. I did wear this in a recent video that I filmed, which I'm not too sure if it's going to be published by the time this gets published or not. But um, I thought it actually looked better in video than it did in real life. So Heat Friendly Fibers does give you some options for styling. You can spritz this right away. I can see this wants to fall in my face. I would probably have to treat this a little bit with either the heat of my hands or some other heat styling to kind of lift this up. I also like a little bit of volume and more of a messier look. I don't want it to look slick because that's just not me. So tomorrow when it's daylight, I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna film some, out my battery died, so if I'm not in the same position, pardon me. But anyways, uh, tomorrow I am going to put this on and I'm gonna film it in the outside so that you can see uh, what it looks like in natural lighting, basically. So again, this is British Milk Tea. This is Beltress. This is Lady Latte. This is a really cute bob. And I'm going to end it here. And when you see this video, you should see the outside shots at the end. Thank you so much for watching. So this is an outside shot of Lady Latte. It's a sunny day. I am in the shade. As I walk into the light, I hope you notice the difference. And the colors. Of course, it gets kind of like washed out, you know, with the camera and the bright light and all that. But And I have no idea what this is going to look like when I play it back. But I'm hoping that you get a little bit of a visual of what this color, the dimension of this color, British Milk Tea. Look at the dimension. These fibers on Beltress are just amazing. 